Welcome to the show, friend. Uh, recently, Dr. Alan Keyes was in Memphis, Tennessee, and we put together an event at a local church where he and I were the speakers. He introduced me, I gave a speech, then I introduced him, and he gave a speech, and thankfully, we had our television gear there, and we recorded them, and it came out pretty good, and we thought, well, why not let people enjoy what we did? So, here we go. This is your servant, Randall, only not behind a desk, behind a pulpit. Good afternoon. Uh, Randall Terry and I are here today. We're going to talk to you a little bit about uh, the very real crisis we see our country in right now and the implications in particular uh, of that crisis as a challenge to people of faith in this country to understand the indispensable role that faith has played uh, in both the founding and perpetuation of the United States uh, and that we must play if we are to get through this crisis in a way that actually preserves our nation's identity, both in terms of its freedom and its commitment to God-endowed rights and justice. I want to take a minute to introduce my good friend Randall Terry, who has been known, I think, in activist circles as a champion of God's understanding of the sacredness of human life, and who has done it in a way that I think exemplifies in our time the true meaning of witness. For he has been willing to answer the call of the Spirit, which says that we must stand boldly whatever the consequences in order to proclaim God's truth, particularly on behalf of those who cannot speak for themselves but also on behalf of all those who have a stake in making sure that the land in which they live deserves the blessings of God. He has in the course of that time shown integrity and courage, but also a willingness to learn and to teach that is the characteristic, I believe, of the soul that is truly open to God's instruction and who can therefore stand in a very real sense with the mind and heart and legs and arms of Jesus Christ to call others to stand with him in witness. I was one of those called at Notre Dame when he raised up a voice uh, in witness against the honor that was done by the university to uh, Barack Obama for the sake, not of scoring political points or doing anything that had to do with that political world, but only for the sake of bearing witness to the truth that is indispensable, not only if we are to respect the sacred right to life, but if we ourselves are to be respected in the goodwill which God has shown for us in his endowment of our right and liberty. When he did that, he moved my spirit, and I think I was moved in consequence by the Holy Spirit acting through him, as many people have done through the years, to go and stand with him, even at the risk of imprisonment and being thrown in jail and reviled and ridiculed. I think we sometimes forget that when we are looking at someone who is motivated by that kind of surrender to the Holy Spirit, we are actually looking at Jesus Christ. We are looking at Christ in the Garden of Gethsemane, humbly standing before his Father God and saying, if this cup can pass from me, but not my will but thine be done. I think in many respects that could be the motto and ensign of Randall Terry's life. He has stood before the Lord. He has stood beside the cross. He has stood in a place where he knew it was possible that as they came to crucify Christ, so they would come to lift him up in that dishonor. And he has said to Christ and to his Father God, not my will, but thine be done. I think that's the spirit and the only spirit that if it can be awakened in all of us, will help to turn this nation back to a path where we will stand as one together in the true identity of our country and the faith that we profess in Jesus Christ. Not for the sake even of our own salvation, but winning that salvation because we are willing to count on the good will of God and say with Randall Terry, not my will, but thine be done. So it's with great pride and honor and a, and a kind of reverence for God that I introduce my good friend and colleague, Randall Terry.
Thank you, Dr. Pease. Thank you. It's uh, a delight to be with you today. I hope that your heart and your soul, your faith, your actions are strengthened. Those of you watching on television or on DVD, I pray the same for you. We have not been winning. You don't have to be a prophet to see that after 